Hello everybody, it's your boy Sada Tips, aka Marco Polo. I'm back with another special video and today we're gonna be talking about this token called Meta Ruffy and it's actually trending on coin market cap on spot number one. I know it's been a while since I've seen you, it's good and it feels good to be back. So make sure if you guys are new around here to hit that subscribe button. Wanna be entered on my giveaway when I hit 3,000 subscribers. But no further ado, let's get into this video. We're gonna do a coverage on what this token is about, go through their white paper. See what is the price prediction that I'm going to give you guys. What you guys think about this token. Let me know in the comment section below. We can see in the past 24 hours this token is actually up over 19%. It's sitting up 0.0003086. So there is three decimal points in front of it. And this is the graph since it came out in February 7th was the launch day. And since then when it came out the token had a little uh, play move. And then it just dropped. And then after that it's been going up and then there was a it literally almost went to the moon and then all the way down and then it's been keeping a balance around the 30s 20s and pretty much it's keeping its value it's not really dumping or going up they're not rug pulling anything and we're going to cover out what this token is all about what's the hype behind it and why is this token has some value to it and we're going to see in the past week or so it's just been going an uptrend so far since it's been up almost 20 percent within the past 24 hours as well here it went all the way up to 0, 0.00 almost 60 and then now it's just sitting at almost half that exactly 0. 0.00030 so what is going up is it going to go back there let's see that and if you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this token if you guys are holding any this token is roughly new and there's over 10,000 holders currently and over 100 million MR tokens out in the pretty much universe i don't know what you guys would call it we're gonna go on their twitter page see how many followers they have over there they have right under 12,000 twitter followers and they've been keeping updates they are verified on twitter too so that is pretty interesting and they have over 435 tweets and they're pretty much keeping updates the mx edge global listings and then them trending on top 10 on B Moon Crypto Daily tweeted that so they're retweeting it and they're number one. Guess who's trending on CMC number one? And exactly, I am doing this because they are trending on CMC and they're here pretty much explaining more about the tokens. Them uh, pretty much trending their staking. Uh, V7 staking is live. Use our official DAP clip on Migrate now for it to be staking with them. So we're gonna go over that in a second. Let's check out their website. So this is their website, welcome to Meta Ruffy. I like how it looks, looks uh, pretty legitimate in my, in my eyes uh, so far. And we can see their Certix audited as well. And here we go down, everything looks cool, looks normal, Ruffy world. The creation is fully developed and fully world is main goal and ultimate milestone for the project, a fully developed and fully functional Ruffy world environment with all its assets in place for a big picture. Ruffy world is itself divided into several different spaces and categories which can be viewed below. So instead, instead of us going and watching this, we're gonna go in their white paper and do a more uh, in-depth review about this token. Meta Ruffy 2222 white paper v2.0 with meta roughly to enter a world where a creation of entertainment is the essence within the metaverse we built various entertaining components into the roughy world not namely entertain clubs resorts social gaming dating nft marketplace and with many more further development will be enabled on an open world of co-creation for any participant within our roughy world so pretty much what they're doing is in their own creating their own world and there is nightclubs, there is resorts, there is social gaming, there is dating in the metaverse and here it explains everything the web3 what is web3 and everything and it says if you what is blockchain we already know that if you guys are watching this you probably know what is blockchain and what is web3 and what is metaverse so we're going to skip to part on uh, 8 here cuz then it tells us more about the token what does the they take to participate in such a virtual world you have to have a, imagine a whole thing as completely separate virtual world everyone who participates here has an avatar a digital after a ego everyone can determine what their own avatar looks like 
that is pretty interesting pretty much like the games they're making a reality with the vr headset then there was a virtual rooms for everything games meetings places concert halls congresses conference rooms shopping malls there are basically no limits to your imagination users can meet in these virtual rooms exchange ideas communicate but also listen to others and watch events virtual work meetings are also possible but you will be able to buy your own virtual things lands houses and art all of this already exists especially in the game world like fortnite and roblox but it's taking it to the extremes in the metaverse because everything is really virtual here and everything is in connected uh quest 2 first of all all course is these virtual space have to be creation created first this is a small matter and involves a lot of effort but in the facebook group is already there there will be soon a virtual meeting places for chatting and working but to be able to participate you need the technical equipment usually people will have to put their vr glasses when you are putting on a glass glasses like this you can no longer hear or your surroundings and immerse yourself completely in the virtual world that seems are perfectly divide decided if you look to the left you are also look to your left in the virtual space you can grab and put down virtual objects and sometimes even more ground in virtual space in order to do this to work you only need a vr glass but all also a relatively powerful computer and a fast internet connection so a lot of technical effort is required not only in the side of facebook allies meta but also in the side of the user so pretty much what they're trying to do here is you can wear the headset if i'm going to grab my phone i can grab it if i'm going to go for a jog i can do that with that headset but i don't think you can actually run unless you have something strapped to you and you have like a treadmill in the metaverse i've seen those or maybe for running and walking you have to hit the controller uh, but everything else looking left and right hiding body movement will be in the metaverse but probably not running in athleticism maybe unless they create a like something that the bottom of it keeps moving based on your body movement but you're not really moving it is only in the metaverse and you're losing weight or whatever it could be for this token and they're doing that all in the metaverse meta roughly have to do in the metaverse like pretty much they're doing taking fortnite whatever roblox these are in the next level of it it is pretty interesting uh happy roughy spa resorts there's gonna be relaxing zones we build luxurious hotels resorts will be enabled to different kind of spa and fitness areas relaxing music as well as special drinks are implemented to complement the full experience of relaxing your soul yoga fitness alone is not fun it will be higher real yoga and fitness trainers who will do the daily exercise with you in different groups and languages real trainers no bots or videos wow so they are even bringing their own real yoga and you're going to be pretty much at your home with these headsets looking around in a nice yoga place but really deep down you know you're in your comfortable clothes but in your avatar you could be dressing up as a yoga pretty much exercise or whatever you're doing or pubs if you want to go to a nightclub and pick up people over there you put on a nice dress in your avatar spend some money on it make sure it looks good go hit the gym get bigger and then but really at home you're sitting with your headset that is pretty interesting this token looks pretty fun and there's an entertainment stadium you could have probably mics to sing and everything everyone can show their talent what they're really whatever you do in real life you pretty much the goal is to make it also in that world I like the token it looks like they have good foundation and their team is documented when you go down here all the way uh where is the go yes right here all their team is documented their ceo founder is chihan and then safi fox and anna there's so many people here they're all documented with their picture you know what that i always say if they're not documented they're not real but here they are documented so we can't really say anything and their taxes is a 10 percent tax a five percent goes to rewards in usdt uh pretty much holders get rewards of five percent and a two percent buy and earn a buy and burn and three percent development and six percent rewards in usdt so this is the total taxes for sell tax is 14 percent, but buy tax is only 10 percent. so this is for buy and this is for sell six percent goes rewards 
in USDT back to the holders if you're selling your and then the 2% buy and a 3% development and a 3% marketing to get more so the reason why there's an additional 4% four, 4 where it's selling is because they're trying to get more people if you're selling your token and they're going to spend more 3% of your money to go and get a develop pretty much doing advertisement to get more buyers into it. So it makes sense the buy and sell tax is different. That's why I never understood when people say, oh, 20% buy tax and a 20% sell tax. It shouldn't be the same number if you're already investing in your token and you wanna get rewards. It wouldn't make sense, but the numbers are pretty high. At the end of the day, 14% is a little taxi. Uh, like they're, they're really taxing you, but at the end of the day, that is what they pick. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. They also have their Telegram here that you can chat with their support team on their website. That means they are active users. That is pretty interesting. At the end of the day, I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure you guys do your own research and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this token and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for more videos like this and to be entered on my next giveaway. See you guys later. Peace.